So you've been adding more pieces of technology to your business. It seems every week you're growing, so you're adding more and more smart technology, and you've been smart about it and taking all the necessary precautions, so you're good, but slow down. You see, you just made your first mistake, and it might be a costly one. The truth is, 43% of cyber attacks, they happen to small businesses, just like yours. And half of them, well, they go out of business within a year of the attack. So the truth is, we just need to admit that it's gonna happen to us and be prepared. So when you combine the facts that human error has always been a part of the game and hackers are constantly evolving with the times, you're gonna to come to the conclusion that a security breach is an absolute inevitability. Inevitable, inevitability. So what can you do to make sure that you minimize the time you're dealing with the threat while maximizing the efficiency of your workforce? Well, you do something called the six stages to incident response. Stage one is preparation. Admitting to the fact that a threat probably will happen to you is gonna go a long way when it probably ends up happening to you. So having a dedicated response team with a set plan in place is gonna go so far when a threat inevitably ends up choosing you. I said it right. So now we're getting into the game time stages, starting with number two, identification. Now this is where having that well-trained response team is gonna go a long way. They need to be able to identify the threat, find the entry point, uh, parse through log files, uh, review forensic images, and they need to do all of this without damaging any evidence of the threat. And that's gonna go a long way in our final stage. This brings us to stage three, containment. Now, this is hopefully happening concurrently with stage two. You know the threat and where it's coming from, so you're getting rid of any damaged workstations, you're letting go of any compromised accounts, and you have the threat all in one area. The bleeding stops here. So you have the threat locked down, it's all in one area, and this brings us to stage four. Whoa! Eradication. Eradication. It doesn't look like that, but I promise, it feels like that. It's great. This brings us to the last of the game time stages, recovery. You've tracked the threat from beginning to end and completely eradicated it. So now you've gone back and remedied any vulnerabilities you've found, uh, any workstations or accounts that were compromised you've updated or gotten rid of. You've now put in newer, more secure methods of access. You've tested the functionality and day-to-day -day business is resuming. All well, the dust is settled and you have won and I for one am impressed. You took on a cybersecurity threat and you defeated it. but. Some of those businesses we talked about at the beginning of the video, they've done the same thing, but they stopped here. You're not going to. You're not gonna forget the most important stage, stage six, lessons learned. Now remember when I told you that evidence and identification stage would come up big? This is where it does. See, days later, you're gonna sit down with your team and you're gonna talk about what went wrong, what could have went worse, what could have went better, systems you can add, systems you can get rid of. Uh, you're gonna look at the threat that you just had and you're gonna grow from it you're gonna be ready for the next threat because you've already admitted it's gonna happen. But see, you'll be ready and you won't just end up another statistic for somebody else's video.